Hey, this is Mount Isa. It's it's the greatest place in Queensland to live. Okay, it's it's full of souls to be saved, and uh, it's a great place. I think there's about 19,000 people here now, and yeah, it's a great place. It's 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 so good to live here and to be part of what God's doing in this town. We at, 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 at in National Navigator Church is Mount Isa. Uh, we started off National Others Week a couple of years ago and uh, we never really picked it up and went with it completely but we have this year and this year we've, we've affected uh, whole communities, whole parts of our town and uh, we've actually affected most people in our town uh, through reaching out to other people to go and help them where they're at and uh, just love them where they're at and through that, uh, through get, getting out there on the streets and the highways we've seen many people come to Christ, uh, so many so we actually had to start our youth group on a football field now on a Friday night because we couldn't fit them in the church. And, uh, and now that now that youth group, we've got leaders going there from young men's group, young ladies groups, and, and we're building other groups from that one big net. And uh, now we've got young teenage girls, uh, you know, that are going to ladies meetings and stuff like that. Some of these young girls were coming out of jail, some of them were in all sorts of problems. But now their whole lives are turned around just because of acts of kindness, just because of breaking barriers down, just because of, of getting out there and helping people. And, and it's been such a blessing to this church. This church has been blessed by it. People in the community want to belong to it, they want to be part of it. Uh, people in the community just pull up on the side of the road when the, the teams are out there working and they pull up with sliced watermelons and all sorts of things. And uh, the manager from Woolworths, the manager from Bunnings, all want to support us, you know, because everyone wants to be a part of something that's alive, not dead. Hello, my name is Joyce McCulloch and I'm the Mayor of Mount Isa City. I first became aware of National Others Week uh, through uh, community members telling me, Joyce, have you seen the great work that a certain church group is doing in town? And I said, who's the church group? Oh, we're not really sure, but they're running around in colour, blue coloured shirts. So I went out for a drive and um, just had a look and thought, you know, from a distance it looked wonderful. The, uh, the church members were engaging together, they were, they were creating a lot of fun amongst themselves whilst doing very, very hard work. And um, so I come back to the office um, and I connected with Pastor Keith Christie and uh, Pastor Keith Christie came and picked me up and took me down and introduced me to the uh, Christian Outreach Centre team who, who were doing the Random Acts of Kindness and these people were so very, very grateful to the Christian Outreach Centre and as the Mayor of Mount Isa City, I too am very grateful because what it's done is it, it has helped, you know, it started to help bridge a gap between different parts of the community. So, you know, I, I applaud the Christian Outreach Centre for their random acts of kindness and I love the concept of National Others Week. I think it's wonderful, so keep up the good work. And from the Mayor of Mount Isa, thank you very much. Yeah, we're at Zimbaros in the city of Mount Isa and um, the council has finished the council's meeting. And they went past, past Keith brought them down to one of the houses that we're working at and um, she said that she wants to get involved next National Others Week that we have, which will support us in our trucks and backhoes and picking up steel. No, I thought it was pretty good what she's done because with all the rubbish we had in the yard, we've got no car and all that, and it helped us out a lot with, with the yard and housing and all that, and for the kids too, better for the kids, they can run around and play around the yard. But yeah, but thanks for that, it's done. Recently, the, the outreach, um, we've had them, um, we've, we've seen them in the uh, hospitals, we've seen them going through the homes, to help people uh, cleaning up the homes, which made a magnificent impact. And, and I mean, this whole household. All got saved in this place. Because of what you guys did? Because of what the clean up, what the guys done. And they're all coming to church now. All these girls are connected to the young girls group in church, connected to the youth group, connected to the church. Five of them are saved, young girls, and the parents have been saved, too. 